Hey guys. Okay, so this is going to be one of those weird <laughs> random readings that um, it's not going to be a pick a pile. We're just going to pull some energies. Um, I've been feeling like I need to get some kind of message out there and I felt drawn tonight. Yes, I was already, already, <laughs> already had my bath. I'm in my PJs. I get in bed and I was drawn to these two piles. They kept coming to mind. I kept seeing Pacific cards and images, and I thought, well, I'm just gonna do a reading. So I went and I grabbed them and I got set on my bed and I was gonna do a reading and just see what come up. And then <laughs> I thought, the thought of, you need to film this. It came in my head and I thought, okay, maybe I should. <laughs> So I take that as spirit trying to come through and say that uh, there's a message for someone that needs to get out there. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I, I've actually been working on, I have a video that I've edited, I'm trying to get out, and my uploads are just so slow. Um, but I'm actually in the process of doing a video right now. I finished pulled one today on you versus them and then you're connecting energies down the middle. So we're gonna do that in that same fashion. Over here is going to be them, and over here is going to be um, you guys. So if you resonate with divine, masculine, and feminine energies, this would be your masculine energy, this would be your feminine energy. Put wh whichever you feel you are or resonate with, that's the energies I'm gonna be pulling from you, okay? So if that makes sense and it wasn't confusing, <laughs> The other confusing thing is I'm actually wanting to start with the masculine's energy. Um, and I don't know why, but for some reason, that's the energy that, I, that I'm wanting to start on. And then we'll focus on your energy and see where you are in this connection, okay? And then also, also, these oracles were ones that also came to mind that I needed to use. So there's something in this. And then also the um, oracles of the seven energies, I'm also gonna use those as well. Okay, so, so far I think that's all that I'm gonna lay out, but we'll see what comes up during the reading. I have no idea how long this is gonna be. I have no idea what this is gonna be about. I'm assuming it's a energy check-in type reading, but I'm just gonna, do the reading and see what happens. Okay, so I have to say there's a chance that you might not resonate with this reading. It might not be for you. Um, it might be for somebody else and that's okay. So if it is just, you know, click off and just you weren't supposed to hear this message. No big deal. So <laughs> let's see what's going on with them. So the way that I do these readings, guys, is I do their thoughts, their feelings, and then their actions. And then in the middle, I'll do um, the connecting energies. And I'm actually going to use these oracles for that in the middle. And then I'm going to clarify. You know, I'm going to get advice for both of you with the um, seven of, or oracles of seven energies. Okay. So let's figure out where his is. Show me the divine masculines. This divine masculines. But you have the three of cups. Strength. Three of pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Four of Cups in reverse. What's the Divine Masculine's feeling? What's their feeling right now? What's their feeling right now? The Star. Oh, 
their actions? In their actions. And the Eight of Swords. In their actions. Page of Swords. In their actions. Six of Pentacles. Far from this ace of swords in reverse, please. The devil. Hmm. Bottom of the deck energy for them is the three of three of swords in reverse. The knot of cups is in reverse under that. And the four of pentacles. I'm going to get your energies now. I'm, I'm quiet, guys. I know I am. I'm thinking about what I'm seeing over here. in reverse. Right the muse of voices, that's the, the king of voices. The empress in reverse. the hangman in reverse. in reverse. Okay, so your actions. Supplements, actions, in the Feminine's actions in this reading. The Six of Swords. Feminine's actions in this reading. Strength. Feminine's actions. It's feminine's actions in the stream. Chariot in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy is the three of pentacles in reverse. In the world. Okay. Let's grab some of these real quick. If you're still here waiting on me, <laughs> sorry that I'm quiet. These messages, when they come through, are very important. And they're usually really intense. So, um, I'm trying to focus. 
So connecting energies for the thoughts. Sorry about their thoughts. Those are connecting energies for their thoughts. We have dragon power, number 11. Connecting feelings here, sir. Why is it connecting feelings here? The feminine and the masculine. Hmm. We have enchanted fern gruo, gruto. How do you say that? Groto. Refuge. So number 16. What's our connecting energy for the action sphere? Connecting energy for their actions. Okay. For their actions. We have B spirit prosperity number five. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. We're going to start with the masculine energy. Okay. So I want to start over here. <laughs> they want me to start in the middle. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. So we're actually going to start with thoughts. So this person's thoughts your person's thought, I mean, your thoughts, your connecting energies. This is something that you're both set on, you're both contemplating, and you're both working towards together, okay? We have dragon and power. Now it's the number 11, which means you're on the same path and you're both in the right direction. And I feel like you're both in the right direction towards this prosperity, towards this new beginning here. I feel like you're both, both nurturing this connection or wanting to nurture this connection for what it is or headed in that direction. I feel like you both came, gained some clarity here. I do feel like whoever is the masculine here, I do feel like He's the one that's been more um, active as far as I feel like this mask and it actually could be coming out of something and gained some knowledge over that. And that's where his power lies here. The feminine has rested. She has been in a healing and recovery state, but they both gained some kind of new clarity from what they've been through. And they're both stepping into their power. Now, feelings, refuge. This is the number 16, which is the number seven, which is about reflection. It also reduces to the number five, which is the same number you have down here. So I feel like because of the reflection that both of you have done together, has caused there to be some kind of change in how you actually see one another or a new understanding of one another. Also a new understanding of the feelings that you have for one another. I feel like you're seeing the value in each other 
in this connection. And like I said, I feel like you're both wanting to nurture this connection now. This is, is your feelings. This is what you're both feeling about this connection about each other. And you share this, this feeling of wanting to nurture here. The number 16 in tarot is also the, um, the tower. But it's kind of strange because it actually says refuge. And what I'm getting from that is that y'all are realizing that this connection is somewhat of a tower. It is somewhat of something that's an awakening for each of you um, to help you realize where your parts of yourself that need to heal. And that's where this refuge comes into play. So you're both having this reflection over it and this new idea about how this connection is actually helping you. So even though you have that tower moment or moments in this connection, it still goes back to refuge. refuge. Because you have to have those moments in order to heal, in order to become more evolved and a better person which is the refuge. So this connection, you're understanding both of you that it's something that is healing. And, and different. Like you're both just getting this new idea of this connection and why it's in your life. And you're both finding comfort in it. You're both accepting it for, for that, for what it is. I feel like you've been doing this for a while now, but I feel like now you're both at this point. You're, you're, um, the masculine over here is now at, the, at that same, same point. So as far as your actions go, again, the number five. So there's some change that's gonna take place here. I feel like there's a lot of tension in this connection. I feel like, again, I feel like you both want to nurture this connection, nurture a new beginning here. You see the value in it. You both see the value in this. And you're both wanting to look at it completely differently, treat it differently. But you can both also see the the benefits of this connection. Okay. So I'm going to move on. Let's get over here to the masculine's energy because it's interesting to me. Especially these cards. There's so much I can get out of these cards. I love these cards. Um, okay. So let me get a drink. <laughs> Before I say this. I have to point out the fact I do feel like, and this might not be for everybody, so if you're not aware of this, it's not for you, but I do feel like there's some sort of karmic cycle that your person is moving on from or is trying to move on from. Something that they're trying to, karmic lesson that they're trying to move on from here, and they're almost there. They just lack a little bit of clarity on some situations. But they're trying. I feel like they're trying to... I feel like they're trying to get over some heartbreak. They want to offer you something here. They want to be able to bring you something here, but they know they're not ready for that yet. They're still holding on to making you an offer. And it's because of this um, inability to be able to have this clarity that they need from something that they were attached to, something that it could have been some shadow aspect of themselves, some kind of codependency um, energy here, something that they feel like they were attached to it could be anything. This could this could be anything. This could be a karmic situation. 
This could be a codependent situation. This could be an addiction. This could be, this could be anything that they were attached to. That was part of their shadow side, something they needed to learn, something they needed to have clarity on here. And there, there's some stuck energies when it comes to this clarity. They're not quite there yet. They need a little more time. But that's okay, because I feel like you also need a little more time. It's not that they don't know what path they want to take here. They know what path they want to take, but they're still not in that energy of being ready for that yet. Um, I don't know why I skipped around on that like I did. I just felt the need to go there. So I'm not really reading these like this is this and this and this. I'm just kind of reading you the storyline of what I'm feeling here. So stay with me. I'm not doing my normal thing here, apparently. <laughs> um, so as far as you go, he, this person cannot commit to you right now, okay? This is in their thoughts. They do want to build things with you. They see and recognize this connection here with you. I feel like this person would like to connect with you, but they cannot commit to you right now. But the strength there is behind that connection, they understand it now, and they want to be in this, in this contact with you. I do feel like there's a little bit of hesitation with that, though. I kind of feel like This person may be a little bit still hesitant. I feel like this person feels really out of, out of their place. Maybe when it comes to socializing with you. I say that because this is the black sheep, but it says strength. Usually the, when they say that you're the black sheep out of the group, <laughs> it's because you, you're out of place, like the sheep's not in the right, what do you call it, herd. You know, they herd the sheep. I don't know anything about that, just so you are aware, but anyway. Like when, have you ever seen the movie, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this, um, Babe, the movie Babe about the pig, and you watch the pig go out there and herd the sheep back and forth. This is this image that I'm getting in my head, and when the dog goes up and there's, you know, the wrong sheep is in the wrong herd or whatever, and he like makes a move and it's the black sheep or whatever, blah, blah. Anyways, this is the image that I'm getting in my head <laughs> when I look at this card, and that's what I'm thinking about is that this person feels like, like they're out of place when it comes to this connection. And there's a lot of strength behind that though. And they're trying to find their strength in spite of that, which I feel like is something that this person needed to learn. I hope that makes sense. I feel like it does. This Four of Cups here in reverse, such a strange card, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot going on in that card. The craziest thing that I'm getting from this card, guys, I love these cards because the imagery on here, I can pull so much off of it. Um, and I say that a lot, these two are the same, but, um, first off, when I see a bunny rabbit, I think about new beginnings. And her her dress here is blue, so that reminds me of emotions and feelings, which is makes sense because we're in the feeling pile here. There's a pair of sunglasses here, like there's some kind of clarity that needs to be seen, which is the same energy that I got from here. 
And then there's something offering a, a cup that's full and lit up. But this rabbit's not looking at this cup. This rabbit's looking at these. But this is in reverse. And you know, we talked about how I said, I feel like there may be some kind of karmic lesson or something that you're, this person's learning here because of the three threes are here. There are, there's three cards out. <laughs> the three threes. There's three of cups, three of pinnacles, and the three of swords. So heavy on the, on the threes there. And then here you have these three cups here. But I feel like this is your cup, and I feel like these two cups are karmic cups. And take that how it resonates. Any kind, any kind of karmic here, any kind of karmic lesson or person, okay? Um, this here is this fresh new perspective. They're not ready to see it yet. But they're starting to. That's why it's in reverse. They're starting to see that. They're starting to look in that direction now. They're just not quite there yet. But the good thing is, is you have the star here for their feelings. That means an opportunity is going to come and they know it. About feelings. Actually, they're holding that close to their heart that opportunity. They also know Sorry guys, my kid was looking for me. Um So, I want to say This is an otter too, by the way. <laughs> So otters are really affectionate. They're really loving. They're playful. And this is how your person sees you in this connection. Deep down. That's why you're so far in their heart there. They see this. Like playful energy with you. Okay. I do want to say, like these cages here, I feel like your person is knows what lesson they need to be learning here. So the doors are those cages are open, but they're not coming out of them yet. They're not, he's not ready yet. He's still figuring some things out, but it's coming. So let's talk about this. This Eight of Swords here. As their actions go, they're not seeing how they can move forward right now. There's a reason that there's a blindfold on their face, and it's because they're not ready. They still have this karmic stuff that's going on, they're trying to figure out and work through. They're not ready to come forward here, they're not meant to because they're not there. But with that being said, I do feel like the thought or the idea, the knowledge has been gained here. They know that they're going to come towards you. This is the action they're going to take. They know that they're going to make you some kind of offer here. They're going to, they want things to be in balance. They want to give to you more. They're just not prepared or ready to do that at this time, okay? I do feel like your person, part of their karmic or shadow situation that they're learning about here has to pertain to their negative thought process and the op being optimistic here. I do feel like that's something that your person is needing to work on. They would like to come to you. They would like to have a new beginning. They do want to offer you some things There's just, they don't feel like right now is the time for them to approach you because they know 
there's still some things that they're figuring out. There's still some things that they're learning. Okay. Okay, so let's look at our feminine. She is, she has been doing some work. She's completed some things here. She's accomplished some things here. Mm -hmm. She feels like she is stepping into her power here, but she still has some unsure energy about it. I feel like something has knocked her down. Something has pushed her from recognizing her potential here to where she's kind of got off steady. There may have been some strategic energy that took place here where this feminine wasn't allowing herself to step in the flow of the energies that are meant for her or the, the way of just moving forward knowing that what's meant for you will come to you. But she also recognizes the fact that that's something that she needs to work on. And she's recently had that realization that that's something that she needs to work on because of something that came up and knocked her down. But she's completed that cycle. I feel like she accomplished something from this knowledge that she's gained here. But she's also in this energy of not wanting to quite commit here. I feel like this feminine knows just like the masculine, masculine does. And it's this energy right here in the middle with the tower and the refuge that we talked about. They're both recognizing these shadow aspects that they're carrying with them that they need to work on. And I feel like the feminine has this realization, just like the masculine's realization, is something that is completed, a cycle that's completing here but they're both not quite through that hurdle yet, okay? Let's look at the nine inspirations for your thoughts. So I feel like the communication that has not been taking place in this connection has been somewhat of a struggle for you not being able to reach out, not knowing if you should, if you should reach out. Um, something that you've really been overanalyzing and thinking on that's causing you a lot of um, tension buildup. It's causing you a lot of, I feel like you have this paranoia that you aren't doing the right thing or you aren't giving enough or nurturing enough. I feel like you're afraid to, I feel like you're afraid to push this person away. And so you're very hesitant to the way you approach things, especially when your communication is involved. But, so funny because over here, this person is recognizing this friendship and wanting to strengthen this friendship, even though they know that they're not going to commit right here to anything solid yet because they're not ready for that. But they're still wanting con to contribute here in some kind of way. And you're over here questioning this communication and struggling back and forth if you should open yourself up here or not. 
So, I feel like you're worried about being too codependent here. I feel like, again, I feel like you're worried that you're going to push this person away. I also feel like you're trying to get guidance here. I feel like you're trying to understand or know exactly what that your intuition is really calling to do, for you to do in this connection. If you should give in this connection, how much you should give and um, when not to. I also want to say, I just have to call this out. Um, this, this person over here, this masculine, he's focusing on himself right now, but his thoughts are, are, are towards you. Every one of these cards in the middle, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing, feminine. I feel like you're focusing too much on your masculine here. And you need to go back to focus on yourself again because he's not ready. He's still working on some stuff. He's not ready to offer you anything right now. His, he knows that he's not ready. All these cards here, every one of these people in these cards are facing in this direction. And this is the connecting energy. So that makes me want to say that you both are looking in this direction. N not very many of your cards are on your back towards yourself here. I feel like they are, like, I'm not, I'm not saying you're not focused on yourself. You are, but you are still, your mind is still constant on this person and I feel like it's dragging you away from what you're what you're trying to be shown here your thoughts what about your feelings so I feel like you're struggling this is both of you in your feelings energies have some some kind of <clears throat> stagnation there. <clears throat> Which is maybe something kind of hard to hear. I don't know if you feel this way and you feel more so this is your masculine here, but I do feel this energy over here with you as well. You have the hangman in reverse, which is that stagnation. Um... I feel like you're trying desperately to step into your power, take control of these emotions that you feel, your feelings at hand, trying to know what to let out and what to hold back with. You're really focused here on finding your middle place, wanting to find that balance. Because I feel like you've carried these feelings, this heavy emotion for a long, very, very long period of time. And you're tired. You've probably had a perspective about this connection for a long time too, that you've been just hanging in there. And you're very tired. You're ready to, to get rid of this burden that you've been carrying. And you know that you have to balance out these energies that come, with, come from with you, within you. And you try to focus on the things that you know you should be working on, that know you should be um, resolving. But you can't help but let your mind drift off over here. Because that's where these emotions come from. And this idea of a new beginning here comes from. This wanting to ground this connection. Those are the two things that you're mostly focused on here. And you can't help but feel that way because I feel like intuitively you're picking up on this person a tremendous a lot, tremendously. 
lot, a lot, a lot. I feel like you are picking up on their energy. I feel like you pick up on this person's thoughts when they're around. I feel like you feel them pretty often, almost to where it's in a creepy way. <laughs> and I feel like that's when the, that's why you, that's why you're in this wanting to take control energy, knowing that you have that power. You know, you both have the power card here, but you actually have the magician. You have the power card in your feelings. You're starting to master that. Your feelings. As far as your actions go, it's, I thought it was so strange that your person has strength here as far as their thoughts go. And you have strength here as far as your actions go. So the, your person and you both share this power, but I feel like your person's power right now is in their thoughts. That's where their strength lies, the things that they're thinking here. Your power is in your actions, which is funny because it's actually something that you're thinking about if you try to control that and your emotions. So it's like you're trying to control your emotions and your thoughts here as far as it coming through in an action. Which is, again, you have the chariot in reverse. So it's like, this is that card of, and the empress here, holding back those emotions here. You have that card here of wanting to move forward. Wanting things to align. Wanting to make some kind of action here. But not knowing which direction to take. Not knowing if you're doing, how much you're doing, if you're doing too much or if you're not doing enough. But you're being called here to listen. Listen to your intuition here. Because it's trying to lead you back to yourself. It, it, it's trying to get in this like over analyzing feeling that you're doing when it comes to every bit of, of everything. But the intention, like you wanting to move into something that's calmer here, you wanting to you recognizing that there is some um, things that need to change here. A tradition, a, a, a <laughs> transition that needs to take place here. And you're feeling that, right? You're feeling all that energy. There's strength behind that. And wanting to have that motion there's there. But you have, you're, you're not... Sure, if you're, if you're going in the right direction because you're not listening to what your intuition's telling you and your intuition's telling you you need to focus back in on yourself here because there's still some things that you're not seeing that you're not recognizing. I feel like it's not that you're not recognizing them. You do recognize them. But when they come up, you kind of recognize and dismiss those things until they come back around. It's like you put them on hold because you feel this person so intensely that those emotions start coming into play. You're trying to ground the, all those emotions there. You're trying to straighten all that out within your mind. Meanwhile, you have this work above you here that needs to be done that you're not wanting to focus on. It's like an endless cycle and until that changes for you and you figure out what you're needing to focus on here, which I feel like what you're needing to focus on here is you just being authentic in a way of not having to second guess yourself so often or do things in a way of questioning if it was enough or, or not enough. So frustrating um, energy because it's like you know what you want, but you don't know how to achieve that. You, you know you want peace from having to feel that way, right? But you just don't know how to get there because every time you start to open some communication or wanting to come towards this person, that second second thought comes into your head, that question comes into your head, if this was 
something that you need to do or not. And so you do hold yourself back a lot from lack of direction. But you just need to <clears throat> focus in on that. Think about that, why you do that, why you feel that way. Now I know it has stuff to do with this person and the energy they're putting off towards you. But think about this in a more authentic way. Think about you yourself and how you feel as far as are you being true to yourself in your own nature? Analyzing things like that when it comes to this person. Something here along the way of this connection triggered you into this wanting to find this balance. I feel like, okay, feminine, I feel like in the beginning of this, you felt this automatic want to really express yourself and finding this freeness of this authentic nature to be expressive, overwhelming. And this free spirit of nature that you've gained when you had this realization was something that I feel like you kind of pressed onto this person in some way. And by doing that in turn was too much for this person. They weren't capable of handling something like that. It was too much. And so instead of you calming back, it actually, what it did was trigger you into this healing process that made you discover new things about yourself. And I feel like you just came into this realization. But from that, now this new thing has emerged of this communication or this questioning of self. It's like a ping pong ball. You went from one extreme to the other, and now you don't know where to find the middle balance there when it comes to that. And this is brought up because of this person, but this is something that's inside of you that I feel like maybe has always been there, but with different things, it's just with this person is one that set it off. Something that you need to look in within yourself about authenticity, about being just who you are and where that comes from on the inside and not second guessing that not questioning everything, not trying to find, I feel like you try to find this, there's this perfectionism energy that comes from that, which comes from something that happened or something that you were, that you grew up with. It's a, it's a, feels like a people pleasing part of you from something to do with your childhood. This could be, and this is going deep, guys, so I hope you're staying with me here with this. But this could be, this could actually have something to do with your um, feeling like you weren't recognized as a child or feeling like you weren't validated as a child in any ways. Um, your emotions not being validated or your, it's just like a neglect type feeling there from something like that. Um, I feel like that's where this comes from originally. It's just this person has certainly triggered that. But the way that you are now and the state that you're in now, you're recognizing it. So you ping pong from that one experience of, oh, I have discovered this new me and I'm, I'm going to be me, I'm going to be authentic, I'm going to be vulnerable and everything else and you, you did this outpour of it okay extreme and now you've went the opposite direction because of this person's trigger on you and you're trying to find that middle balance there you're almost there you have the power here to do that you're ready to release it I feel but it's a little stagnant because you your mind keeps focusing back in on this person you need to really focus in on that energy where that resonates from 
And once you figure out where that comes from and you realize that it's not something that's connected to your nature as a person, it's not something that's connected to your um, personality or um, characteristics, however you want to say it, it's actually a conditioning from something that you grew up with. Okay? I hope this is making sense, guys. This is probably one of the deeper ones that I've ever done, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. Where to go from here? <laughs> um, I do want to get some... I know I'm going to get some seven energies for some advice here. I'm also going to pull some of these. Um, I think these are called... Oh, I don't want to lie to y'all. I'll try to go back and put all these cards. I never, ever do. I know I don't. I'm so bad about it. So bad. Um, but y'all don't understand how hard it is for me to upload videos. <laughs> Sometimes they restart like three or four times. It's so frustrating. And you know, mine are all long, so they do take a while anyways. Okay, so I want to get some of these. I think these are called Follow Your Heart. This person also has those similarities, by the way. I feel like y'all do connect on that sense with one another. I feel like there are... Whatever, I have to say. I have to say this. Hold on, they're trying to... So whatever... You, your trigger is here, where it comes from, whatever it is that you're experiencing here. This person learns from that as well within themselves. Whatever it is that this person has in this connection, there's a lot of things that go on where you learn from that your person resonates with and will learn from as well through you without having to actually experience the same process that you had to experience, they still resonate with it and learn from it. And I feel like it's because that experience for them or whatever it is that they need to learn there is not as in depth as it was for you, as embedded as it was for you, and it's vice versa. You're the same sense as that of them. If you see something that they are actually going through or figuring out within themselves, um, you can learn from that as well. Because it wasn't as embedded in, in you as it is them, but it's still something that you needed to recognize. Okay, so let me get some of these. I actually want to get some of these for each of you and connecting energies as well. I have one card for the feminine energy, please. Actually, I'm going to get a few of these. I don't know why. I feel like I need a few. I'm going to get some cards for the feminine energies, please. We have... <laughs> to be is your purpose. This is exactly what I was talking about with this authentic... Um, authenticity. Because just being yourself, not, not overanalyzing everything. This is also the number one. This is a mu magician right there. I mean, look, that's you. Not overanalyzing everything. Just being yourself and being happy with being yourself here. What is in her hand? A mask. She's holding a mask behind her back. Her being completely authentic, taking off that mask there. Finding that balance. Not being that ping pong, queen, queen, queen. Not, not being so extreme to one to the next, but finding that middle ground of that balance. Of, that balance is just authenticity. It's just being you, it's just being you. Just being who you are. Don't questioning everything that you're doing and saying and acting and, and planning and everything. Just letting all that go. Letting, it's, it's part of your ego, okay? It's part of your desire to have your wants and needs fulfilled when it comes to your ego. Wanting to be in control over how things play out. 
and it's something that you need to release or you have to let go of in order to be able to be your th true, like, authentic self. That's where your power lies. That's where your manifestation is. Okay, hold on. What else? Remove the conditions. We talked about that. Isn't that crazy? It's number two, but who about as well, as well, which is about partnerships. That's so crazy. We talked about that. And look, she's an angel and she's in the sunlight. Yeah, I feel like this really heavily reverts back to you as a child, your childhood. I feel like this heavily reverts back to the fact that you didn't get any um, attention in the way that you, that you really needed it as a child, you know? When it comes to your emotions, when it comes to your being heard, um, you lack that validation. I feel like you felt out of place too as well. But you, but you need to have that realization that that's not part of your authentic, I always say this, that's not part of your true nature. That's not who you're meant to be. That was a condition, conditioned nature. It's, a, it's a, something that was conditioned into you as a child that you need to grow from. And once you have that connection there and why and where and when that, res when that came up, when that resonated, you connect those dots. It's like having a broken, um, a broken nerve. Okay, just go with me here. This is what I'm, <laughs> this is what I'm envisioning by it. Like a broken nerve within your mind. It's like that, be that nerve being disconnected. And whenever you have this realization that that is not something that is, is you, it's something that was a conditioned into you. Once you figure out where it came from, where it resonated from, and you connect those dots, you connect that nerve, then that part is, is alive again, right? That the authenticity of you is you're you're capable of expressing it and not questioning it, not thinking about it. Okay. What else for Paul? Did I say pile one earlier? Because I think I did. Isn't that weird? <laughs> what else for the divine mask? Wait, feminine, feminine. We want to know about the feminine energy. You're already whole. <laughs> These are awesome images. This is the number eight, by the way, which is right on top of that eight string. <sighs> so you may have been actually questioning yourself questioning the pro the progress that you've made in, in your um, your own energy and your self-worth. You've maybe been recently questioning that. This has been kind of like a setback for you. This is a message here for you guys. You need to keep on pushing on, okay? You need to recognize how far you've come from where you used to be. There's always gonna th be things that come up, okay? There's always going to be things about ourselves that we didn't know before that we recognize. And sometimes the first initial reaction to those things that whenever they come up are guilt, um, shame. All that kind of stuff are things that, again, are another other conditions, parts of ourselves that we were grown up to believe. And you need to remember How far you've come. Remember how much work you've put in on yourself. Remember who you are today compared to who you were a year ago, two years ago, however long it was for you when you started this journey, okay? Keep that in mind. Don't forget that. It's very important to remember the path that you've been on, what all you've been through, and how difficult that was that you, that you overcome all that stuff, overcame all that stuff. Okay? Please don't forget that. It's very, very important. You've triumphed over a lot. You've connected a lot of those dots, you know? 
your brain's just way more active in parts that they never were before. You, you didn't re even realize that there was damage there. Okay. You know, some people <clears throat> don't realize that whenever they say, well, I am who I am because all the stuff that I've went through. Well, that's very, very true. It is extremely true. And all those things that you went through, does, that doesn't mean that you can't go back and heal those things. That doesn't mean you can't go back and reflect on those things and make yourself a better person because of doing that. Because that is where the strength is. It's not the fact that you went through those things and you triumphed over it, which that's strong as well. But to know that you could go back and fix those things, connect those dots and work those things out and heal from those things, that is where your strength is. That is where you build yourself up. That's where you find your worth, right? That's where you find that authenticity, who you really are deep down, who you're meant to be. So I was just sitting here shuffling and we have walk each other's walk each other home. The number 42, which adds up to the number six, which is the lovers in tarot. And it's all about love and healing. And again, this is that energy I'm feeling here with that. Y'all are both recognizing the fact that in this connection, it you, things have to crumble. But that is part of the discovery. That's part of the refuge within one another. Those things that are crumbling. But it, it's painful. It's um, it's really hard to experience all that with with someone, to have all these triggers pop up. But it's the the beauty of it in, in, in it as well. It's it's the fact that that is how you learn. It's how you grow. It's how you become, evolve and become someone authentic. It's how you. Fix all the pain that you've ever experienced, you've went through. And, and you're both figuring this out. That this connection's not, a, a, it's not a regular, just romantic connection. It's so, it's just, it's, it's deep. It's so deep. Um, it's different. I also feel like you very much cherish this person a lot, and I think this person recognizes and knows that. And I think that it gives them a lot of strength and power as well. Okay, so let's see what this person's advice would be. Love is always present. This is something that your person's learning right now. This is the number five, which is again, that change. It's also the number 14, which is that temperance, which is balance, which them try, they are trying to balance all this stuff out. They're really trying here to see this clarity, to see these, this karmic stuff that they're learning here for what it is. They're trying, right now what your person's figuring out and learning or they're trying to is seeing the beauty in things that are not meant to be. This love is always present is being able to recognize and see the beauty in things, even when those things aren't beautiful to go through. When those are difficult experiences or all the time that's spent. But they're also seeing the beauty in it. They're seeing the fact that there's love in that because it's something, a karmic is something that you have to go through and you actually learn so much about. You know, there's so much learning that's involved in there. And it's turned to the fact that you need to love yourself. And this person is learning this. That's that balance that they're coming into within themselves. And it's because they're, they're actually being very patient with their self. With their growth. That's why they're not, they because they know, again, the Nine of Cups in reverse. They know that they're not ready to make this offer to you yet, even though that they feel that there. They know that they're not ready to come out with that. They know with this Three of Cups in reverse, they know that there's more healing that they need to do. And they're doing it. They're recognizing what, what lessons there were that they needed to learn in that. 
and that it's not, not everything is their fault either. I don't know why that just came through my head, but okay. <laughs> Expose your heart, number 11. Expect the best, number four. This person, guys, the bottom of the deck, it says, love leads you home. We each walk each other home and love leads you home. Isn't that awesome? Okay, sorry. I had to show you all that because that was great. I love it. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. They want me to get some of these. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. I don't even know how long this ring's been. It's been long. Imagine that. Okay. So outside of that, that your person's learning, they're, they're learning to be vulnerable. It says expose your heart, but she has, still has her coat on there. She's not completely ready. See, this person's not completely ready to come in with this offer. And I feel like this isn't actually an offer of, of knowing Hmm. I feel like this is an offer of knowing. I feel like this person knows more about this connection than what they put on. I feel like this person is understanding this connection in a different way. I feel like they're understanding who they are to you and, and what this connection means to them. <clears throat> but they're on the right path to becoming more vulnerable in this connection. And... I feel like this person feels, I want to say with this card here, expect the best and it's number four, which number four is about, you know, stability and um, foundation, but it's also about security and it says expect the best. What I'm getting from that is that your person's expecting or your person's expect expects the best out of you. Like they feel safe with you. This is something that your person has learned over time. I feel like this is part of what or why this person feels like they want to give to you or want to expose their heart here. I feel like they trust you more than they did. Also, I have to say, the color yellow is standing out to me like crazy on this card. And the color yellow, I think, is associated with the number three, which is about creativity. And also, numerology is associated with the tarot card, the Empress. Do you see where I'm going with this? I feel like expect the best. That's the Empress, right? And then here you have like this, I don't know if that would be blue, maybe light blue. Light blue is about balance. It's the high priestess in tarot. So what I'm getting from this is that they see this wisdom in you. And you did show up as the empress here, by the way. They see this wisdom in you here in the number four. The number four is the, is the emperor. Okay. So anyway, they see this wisdom here in you, right? And it's like they feel safe with you. I don't know how else to say that. They feel the security here with you. She's holding the, this color yellow here, but her feet are off the ground her eyes are closed and she's leaning back. Kind of like in that game where um, you see if somebody trusts you or not. You know, you get behind them and put your arms out and then they, they fall. It's the energy I'm getting from this card. And she's she's wearing that blue color, which is the the, the wisdom. And then the, the red, the yellow there is that the empress card. And um, that's the number four, which is the emperor. So he <laughs> is... Trusting your wisdom and, and trusting this foundation 
the number four, this, this stability, this structure here, this connection. But he's almost there, guys. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to get some of these. for some closing advice. And then I'm gonna get some of these other little great messages from the universe. Okay. I have just a few cards here for, for some closing it fast. Willing release, number 49. Oh my gosh, this card has come out so much lately. Healing the heart. This is the number 23. These are two fives here, guys. 49 reduced down is five. And 23 added is five. Bearing fruit. It's the number 12. Bottom of the deck says, it is what it is. The number six. Crap, they're wanting me to pull one more for you. Let's see what we got. Smoke and mirrors. That card's been coming out a lot too lately. So is this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this really quick. Oh, that's also the number, oh, that's number six. You got six here, wow. Okay. <clears throat> so there's love on both sides here, okay? This is this willing release is the part that you need to change within yourself. So you have, you need to actually change the way that you're pro, you're progressing here. Look, we talked about you need to focus more on yourself and and recognize those energies that come up and why those are there and really go back and connect those dots. This is something it's funny too because these are like dots to me, and uh, we talked about this, and it says willing release. This is something that you need to release here, okay? This smoke and mirrors here for me, which is the number six, which is about healing. It's about that harmony, finding that peace. That peace that you're looking for is you need to revert back to self. We talked about this. This is how you're going to go. Get, once you connect those dots and you recognize that authentic nature inside of you, you're not going to be out of, you know, this wacky energy of, not knowing what to do with this communication. That's not gonna be there anymore for you. You're gonna figure this out. With smoke and mirrors here, right now that transformation's being blocked, okay? Because of the smoke and mirrors. This is your smoke and mirrors here. You analyzing everything that this person does. It keeps kind of creeping back in on you because the energy you're picking up on there. You need to be able to resolve that, do some meditation, focus on yourself here. I'm gonna get some of these cards too. It might help you here. I feel like there's a message in these ones for you for that. Um, but you need to focus in on yourself here. That's what's, that's, you need to go through that. Okay. You need to go through there. You need to find where that, where that conditioning is and you need to work on that and why you're doing that, why you are in that energy. Okay. This person has, is trying to grow. This person is trying to grow when it comes to the number six, it's so strange to me. that you know, Six here, six here, five here, three here, five in the middle, okay? So what I'm saying by that is <laughs> you're focused on love and, and healing. You're fo he's focused on love and healing. You're focused on this change, this change of, rele of this willing release, going back and, and seeing that conditioning there. Your person's focused on this number three, which is that growth, and still wanting that new beginning there. This bearing fruit here is in this tree. Your person's trying to grow. They're trying to transform through these karmics, lessons, okay? I have to put my cat in. Okay, I'm sorry. Your, your person's going through this, okay? They're learning through this. They're trying to transform their self. They're trying to grow here. And while you're doing this and taking care of your conditionings and releasing all that stuff, 
connecting those dots and changing the way that you're thinking about that kind of stuff there, this person's growing, okay? These things have to happen if you want this number five in the middle, which is about that change. And it's something that's so crazy here, guys. This says healing the heart. These couldn't be any more beautiful right here on top of each other. It's crazy. This is, this one's the number six. This is that lover's card for me here. Walk each other home. This is what you're doing. You're walking each other to your true authentic self from these flags that are, that are sh popping up here for you. Healing the heart, the number five. This is what you're both working on here. This is, this is healing number six. This is healing number six. They're growing. You're changing things. You're both healing your heart, but in different aspects, okay? This is, these, these cards are so similar. Look at the imagery in these cards. They're all the same. It's so crazy to me. Um, and I feel like they're all angels here besides this one, but she still has blue wings here. And these are dark blue, by the way. The color blue is about the number five, which is about change. Isn't that ironic? It's also the Hierophant in, in Tarot, which is about spiritual teachings and lessons. And this is this here. If This is also the number 10, guys, which is a closing out of the cycle, a completion, a, a turning point here. That's what's taking place in, this, in the middle of your spread. And with your connecting energies, just in different ways. Love leads you home. Mm -hmm. You're both figuring this out. Even if they, even if you're heart talking, even if you're not mentioning this to one another, or there's, your person's not ready to, they're still trying to understand some stuff. But you're both figuring this out. Okay, so let's see on your side. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. <laughs> That's something that you need to know. It's kind of funny. I'm sorry. But it is funny because we talked about the decisions that you're trying to make, like what you should do, when you should do it. You know, I bet you 100 bucks that <laughs> every time you think about sending this person a text or something like that, that you're sitting there and you, re you rethink it later and you're like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or you think to yourself at one point, I'm not going to send them anything. I'm just not going to do it anymore blah, 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 and then the next minute when you find yourself just being yourself and not thinking too much about anything, then you, something comes up and you're like, I'm just going to send them something without thinking about it. But it's only when you don't think about it. It's only when you don't overthink it and you're just being yourself. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. It's that way wishy-washy energy. I thought another one came out, but I might have just picked it up and put it back. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Mm -hmm. Have some more for the feminine, please. So you may have been crying over this person a lot in this situation a lot because they probably pulled back from you a lot. That they they needed to. They needed to. You needed to give them that growing room. Don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Hmm. This is a shadow thing for you. It's a shadow thing for you. This is something to do with abandonment, I feel like. You feeling like... This isn't bad for me. This is about... A bit, you're a bit, you may have some abandonment type issues there. You may be afraid you're going to lose this person. And that's one of the other reasons why you second guess things so much. Is because of that as well. That's something else that's a conditioned part of you. So there, that's something else that you need to work on here. They want me to, re, to revert back to that. Letting you know that you, you have come a very long way. And you know how to do this. And it's not going to be as difficult as it once was if you're worried about that to go back and work on those conditionings. It won't be as difficult as it was. You've evolved a whole lot since then. And, and they, they need you to know that. You need to know that. But it's something that, ha that you know, it needs to be looked at. 
It says, I have found the one that my soul loves. Yeah. Yeah, this person knows how you feel about them, okay? That's not a secret. I always laugh because I just, this image that's on this card here, this is how I see you, you and your person. And I don't know if you can see it because it's probably too dark, but it's like she's looking up at him and he's looking over, you know, like feeling her hand and just looking over like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so what would the, okay. Stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. See, I feel like there's something to do here with your person feeling like they cause themselves pain. The bottom of that said breaking open, guys, which is also the number 10. Your person may be having a heart awakening of some sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Healing the heart. Love leads you home. Walk each other home. The heart is home. Love leads you home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they're open. That's why they're trying to expose their heart here. Or they're contemplating that or wanting to do that. They're criticizing their self for who, what they have been doing. Not only in this connection, but in other connections and how that has affected them in their relationships. They're really growing from that, guys. Some kind of reason that they felt like they couldn't be vulnerable. That's what they're still working on there. Oh gosh, this is that long one. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, a head, and two faces. Fearing their power, you know, power here, it's crazy. Zeus split them in two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in each in search of each other's halves. Okay. So that's the card of like twin flames, twin souls. And that's something that your person, I feel like, has <laughs> possibly done some research on. I'm sorry, in my head, it's, I heard. Yep, that must be it. Benji, guinea pig said that's it. <laughs> and in my head, I heard research. Just say it. Say research. So that may be something that your person's looked into is your connection because there may be a lot of weird synchronicities and things that have been taking place. Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. This is, again, something that your person's learning, something that they're experiencing. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Again, something that your person's learning. I feel like they're, under, they're having a new understanding about this connection, what this connection means. That goes along with this tower here. Okay, look at that, guys. Bottom of the energies. Love yourselves as, as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Okay. That's all I have for you. <laughs> that is all I have for you. That was a pretty long read, guys. Um, I hope that y'all resonated with this. I don't know who this was really meant for. I feel like a lot of people... Um, in my little subscriber soul tribe here that I'm getting together. I feel like uh, um, the ones that I connect with, um, you know, every week or so that comment or DM me or whatever it is, I feel like this resonates with, uh, with a few of you guys out there. Um, so let me know if, if it helped you in some kind of way, if, it, if you understood everything that I said. Sometimes I spit out the stuff. It just comes like through me and I'm not really, I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying. I, I just say what I'm, what I'm feeling, whatever's coming through me here. Like I'm just the messenger guys. I'm just the messenger. I'm just reading these cards. I'm reading the story. I'm reading intuitively. I'm reading what I'm feeling here, what I'm hearing. Um, but I'm just the messenger here. So 
let me know how this resonates, please, if you, if you want to. Um, yeah, and thanks to you guys for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some clarity if that's what you needed, and I hope to see you again. Thanks.